Hello guys, today we will create this amazing effect thanks to totally free plugins like Krakatoa. We will use stock. You can see I am downloading from the website. You need to register, it's free. You download, install the products for the 3ds Max version that you have. And yeah, let's dive in. I will have this a scene for my Patreons, but it's nothing special. I have this text and with two helpers that uh, are two boxes animated. Very easy. You can follow this totally uh, by yourself. My patrons will have as well the final scene. On a stock panel, we will create a stock. A stock creates particles based on objects or emitting over objects or over particles and at dex other objects or at dex other particles. We will see it that it's very easy actually. So with the stock created here, we need to say which distribution source we want and by default it doesn't work, you need to go to the modify panel and you have exactly the same. Now you can pick the surface. I will pick this surface. And again, by default, it will not do anything. It will only create particles. I need to define a velocity field. Velocity fields can be uh, fume effects, can be other particles, can be particle flow, can be type flow, can be thinking particles, can be other PRTs, you can use anything. Right now we don't have anything uh, here, so we will need to create a velocity field. We can use legacy forces in 3ds Max. So if we go to forces, you can use all of that. I will use motion field because I like it. On motion field, you can turn on the velocity grid to display what we are doing. And I will go with turn off direction. I will add to add some turbulence and noise. And you can see now what we will be doing here. And on turbulence, I will change, maybe I will add more magnitude and I will change maybe the speed. Uh, sorry, I will change the frequency. Increasing the frequency, you can see that we are doing that. So from low frequency to some cool stuff like that. I think that this will be good. And we can as well animate over time. So I will animate this from zero to maybe six. So it's evolving and I think it can be even faster, maybe then. And it's cool because you have a preview of what's going on. Let's select a stock and let's pick this force. You can see that we have the motion field here. Yeah, on simulation parameters, you have some basic simulations. We will start simulating from zero until 100. And you can emit until a specific amount. So now to test that, I will only emit 20 frames and let's press simulate. You can see it's really fast. It's saving into memory that. And if you move this, we can see particles moving around. To display a little better that, if you go down, we will see that we have color and display large dots. You can change this to velocity and we can see better the motion of these particles. And it's doing kind of like, yeah, crazy stuff. We can actually kill some of these particles because right now they are always alive. You click on deleted particles and when you click this button here, it will basically do a life span of 25 and five and it will be applied as a magma modifier. We can use delete using age and lifespan channels. We will see this later on, but now they are getting delete over time. Another thing is that we are creating these particles all the time. I think that I will like that this is not creating, all these particles are not created all the time, but they are selected using this box. For that, we can use one trick. I will need more segments here. So let's add a retopology. Let's by angle compute, let's see what happened. I think that normally works very fine. This should qualify this surface so we have vertex to work on and yeah, this looks good. And we can use a volume select. And I will replace the box by mesh object and I will select this object that I created before and by vertex. So we are selecting this. I think this looks fine. Now we will go back to stock And on a stock, we can define on this object, the distribution source, if we click on it, we can say, okay, uh, we are uh, applying this on surface and we will not do only all faces, but we will do vertex of selection. Now let's do it again, simulate. 
it says that it found something say yes and now as you can see we are only emitting where we have uh, this object but it's not emitting until the end because we say that uh, simulate until 100 that's good emit until as uh, well 100 and let's do it again So that's pretty cool, but we have uh, not so many detail. We are doing nice swirls here, but there is not so many detail. Now, to create more detail, we can increase the particle account here, but we can do something uh, I think that it's better, and uh, that will be create a second stock. So let's duplicate this stock, and this stock we can say it a stock high res. Now we will keep emitting from the source, the same source. But now, instead of using uh, the motion field, this motion field, we will delete that and I will use the previous stock. So, and that's the cool thing about, uh, sorry, uh, let's select the, the other stock. So now this stock, these particles will create a vector field that will drive the new generated particles. And yeah, let's, let's see what happened. And for that, I will increase the rate frame. So on the rate frame, we can see how many particles we want. Let's go to maybe 6,000. And let's simulate on this second. And now we can see that it's super fast and we have these particles. Now, the problem is that it's a little, um, it doesn't have so many resolution. That's because if you go there, we have this grid spacing. This is grid spacing. It's saying each particle velocity, how much influence it has. If it's bigger, it gets kind of like loser. It gets kind of like, um, you can see that it's, so each particle has a lot of influence. You can decrease this. Let's go to two and let's do it again. And you will see a lot more detail. Another thing that you, we can do is to do a preview. So the preview every five frames will update. Now you can see that it's updating and we have way more resolution there. And again, if you want to see the stock, the previous stock on a different color, now we can change this to uh, blue and update the frame. And you can see that how the original particles are driving the secondary particles. So yeah, out of the box, we have something way cooler. Uh, but still, we can break a little more this motion because the motion looks kind of like, yeah, uh, so it's influencing the particles, but I would like to break it a little more. So on the high res, if you go to the stock, we have this great fluid motion. This great fluid motion is trying to affect uh, in a different way. And you will see that it will create, create kind of like a fluidity stuff. Let's press simulate again. And yeah, it kind of gets uh, yeah, interesting stuff. It gets more fluid, actually. We can add even more detail on this second simulation, creating another uh, vector field. So what I will do is this motion field, I will duplicate it, place it wherever you want. And I will say, it, yeah, motion field two. Again, I will have turbulence, but the frequency will be bigger. So the detail will be smaller, actually. And the magnitude can be way smaller like one now we will go back to the stock high res and can here select the second vector field but now the second vector field i want that the scale is way uh, smaller so we can say that this, basically the mean motion will come from the stock and this will give a little of secondary motion that i think can be interesting so again, let's simulate and now I will increase a lot the particle account. So let's add another zero here and let's press simulate. And you can see how fast it is. It's the cool thing about the stock. You can add a lot of particles and you can do as well partitions in Krakatoa that it's super powerful. Uh, I will not cover it on this video, but with partitions you can do 
way more particles. It's basically iterating over multiple machines. If you, if you have multiple machines, and each machine will calculate a certain number of particles. I hope that so far you like it, guys. I will keep going on this tutorial only for my Patreon. So if you want to keep seeing, we will see more in-depth stuff, like how to use Magma Flow, how to render all of this with Krakatoa, and I will showcase some tips and tricks. So if you are one of my patrons, you will be able to keep following with these tutorials and download the scene files. Thank you a lot, guys, and see you soon. Bye.